Hi, I'm Jules. I'm an intern at the Palmer Museum of Art, and I'm an artist and art education major at Penn State. Today, I have a fun art project that you can do at home, creating an assemblage. This project is inspired by artist Louise Snevelson, who became famous for creating sculptures from found objects. You can probably find all the supplies that you need for this project around your house. These supplies could include the top of an old shoebox. This is the main part that you're going to need to put all of the other pieces in. Some old toilet paper tubes. I have a gift wrap tube. Some old cardboard boxes. A yarn ribbon spool. Some old thread spools. Some cups. An old tissue paper box. And last, you're going to need glue and scissors. Before you start gluing things down, think about how you want to use your objects. You can cut the toilet, pa the toilet paper tubes, you can cut the boxes, you can cut the bottoms off cups. Get creative and think about how you can make the most out of all of the found objects that you have before you start gluing them down. And arrange them inside the top of the shoe box also before you start gluing them down. After a little bit of trial and error, here's how I decided to arrange my assemblage. The next step is to glue all of the pieces down to the bottom of the shoe box. After you finish gluing all of the pieces down, set your assemblage to the side to dry. After it's dry, you should have something that looks like this. Now, you can either stop here and have a finished assemblage, or you could take it a step further and paint it. In the Nevelson example at the Palmer, it's paint, her work is painted matte black. I'm going to paint mine white because I have a white shoe box, so I think I want it to match. You can use acrylic paint, you could use old house paint, anything you have, but if you don't have paint, it's fine, you can just stop here. Here's what my assemblage looked after I finished painting it. I chose to leave some of the pattern pieces unpainted because I like the way they look with all of the white. Thanks for following along with this project. If you had fun, definitely check out more of Nevelson's work.